Let us get started with MISTI Toolbox and the whole world of MCP, which is Model Context Protocol. The main area that we'll spend our time in is the little toolbox icon right here. Click on that. You'll notice on this empty state screen that we don't have any tools loaded into MISTI Studio quite yet. And before we really do anything, I want to highlight this box right here, which is essentially saying that MCP, these are external tools. These are tools that are outside of the MISTI ecosystem, but MISTI provides the ability for you to bring them into the MISTI environment. And of course, with anything MISTI, we want to make sure that you're doing everything secured and that privacy and security is always top of mind. We try to do everything that we can do possible with MISTI as an application to make it privacy first. But with an area like this, this is where you're going to have to do some due diligence as well and ensure that they are also privacy first in what they are doing. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and click on import default tools. And this is going to bring in a suite of tools for our use. And we have a whole range of tools here that you would need to further configure and start playing with, all the way from Brave Search to file system to SQL databases to YouTube videos, a bunch of great stuff to just start playing around with MCP and to see how you can make use of them. You'll also notice this middle column right here that says dependencies. And right now we see a whole lot of red, but essentially what this is, this lists the dependencies that need to be running on your computer in order for these tools to operate as intended. And the way that MISTI Studio works is that since this is a web application, it doesn't have direct access to these dependencies running on your local environment. So what MISTI Studio does is it leverages the MISTI sidecar application and essentially proxies through that to get access to these dependencies running on your local machine.